To my left over here is Reverend Annie Chambers, and she's going to come and speak. She's going to sit and speak, and that's all right with me, Reverend Annie. Yes, absolutely. You deserve that seat. Go right ahead, baby. Thank you. Thank y'all so much for allowing me to sit. Um, as it's been said, today is a special day. A special day that we should never, ever allow to die out in America. May Day is a special day for workers working class people. We should be here by the groves and numbers saying we support May Day because it's the day is our only day that we can proclaim as workers in America. It's May Day. We should be very happy and celebrate and teach. Of course, these United States of SNCs don't want us to teach our young people and our people about May Day and the meaning of May Day. That's right. That's our job. We have to go forth and teach as much as possible why we should celebrate this day. This is our day. Yes, the workers' is. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all over the world, you got people celebrating May Day that started right here in America. The workers here we should always, always celebrate this day. We can celebrate the 4th and the um, Easter Bunny and the, this garbage and the Santa Claus and all the other bull stuff that goes on. <laughs> but none of those days stand up to what we are saying today. And see, I'm a minister, That's right. a follower of Jesus Christ. And somebody said to me, oh my goodness, you're putting down Christmas? I said, I didn't put down Christmas. I put down the commercialism Absolutely. There you go. of Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put down the commercialism of Easter. I know what they were supposed to mean. And goes, I don't give a damn about the 4th of July. <laughs> you understand? And I don't give a damn about Thanksgiving. Because I'm thankful that I'm still alive. I'm thankful that we have breath to still fight against this racist, bigoted, classism country that I'm in. That's what I'm thankful for. So we should always celebrate this day. May Day is very, very important to us. It is very important. We should go forth and build as many unions as we can. I don't care if it's the from the street sweeper to the housekeepers That's and right. the White House, there should be a union. I know that's right. That's right. Because where you find no union, you find injustice. Amen. You find abuse. And you find slave wages. That's right. Now they keep on boasting and bragging about that 
saw ass fifteen dollars, and I did say ass. Look in the Bible; that's in there too. <laughs> yes, it okay. is. Okay. Yes, it is. But they brag. Talk, keep on talking about that saw ass fifteen dollars an hour, which ain't nothing. It's what. Do, have you tried to go to the store and buy a loaf of bread lately? Have you tried to rent an apartment or a house? Don't talk about buying no house and stuff with $15, because that don't happen. At least the workers should have $25 an hour. That's right, to make it. To even talk about surviving. Right. I want to say to you know, and I know that there's people, restaurant owners, you know, uh, the private sector, that's got the, what they call it, the low, um, own your own, your own business and all those people. And they said, I can't get nobody to work for me. I say, hell no. Slavery got to stop at some point. Amen. Yes, yes. Yeah. Slavery yeah. got to stop. And right. Well, you, you ain't even making enough. You can be working. Your mate can be working. Even some of your children can be working. And you ain't got enough money to run your household. That's right. Because that's the way the wages are in America. So true. That's the way... Of the cost of living in America. So true. The cost of living in America, all over, even in the deep south, is so high that people can't even afford it. People can't even afford to rent a house, apartment. Right. You go in the poorest areas and talk about renting a house, fifteen hundred dollars a month. Absolutely. Fifteen hundred dollars a month. You understand? That's right. And and when you talk about going to store and and you can put five things on the counter or four things according on what you buy, and you don't spend over a hundred dollars. That's right. That's right. So why would they ask you to work so that they can get richer? Right. And that's what I'm saying to people that own the small business owners and the restaurant people and stuff. You got to understand one, you know, and this poor lady who got on that. People getting six hundred dollars. Uh, what the hell is six hundred dollars? What is six? You you know, six hundred dollars. Not everybody get it, by the way. I want y'all to know that. Because I know some people on unemployment ain't getting but $300 or, you know, $400 unemployment. Not even that much. But you understand that people are saying, I got to live. And when you treat people unfairly, as we have been treated and be continue to be treated, That's then right. we, the people, have to stand up. We got to stand up. Yes. Make this day a day all over this country, but especially yeah, yeah, right yeah. here in this racist, greedy Maryland and say, we ain't going to take no more. That's exactly right. You got a job, at least pay the $15 an hour. At least pay that lousy. And I was going to say something, but I'm going to be nice. At least pay the $15 an hour. Okay? Because the minimum wage need to start at $25 an hour in America today. Absolutely. $25 should be the minimum wage. And we should take an oath to start a fight. Somebody tell old Uncle Joe. With his, he wanted to clap for his trying, trying to get fifteen dollars. But I started to say, "Cut your damn salary down to fifteen dollars." You, you know how you live, since it's so great. 
But at least let's start calling out for $25 an hour for working people yes. in this country. Because we got those big companies making money. Amazon, McCoy, making billions of dollars. Yes. Yes. And ain't paying people $15. That's right. So That's let's start a fighting right now for $25 an hour. Let's call yes. for $25, 25. an hour. 25. Fight for 25. 25. Fight for 25. That's, right. That's what we ought to be. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. 25, 25. Yes. Fight for 25. Now we'll play a message from a Baltimore Amazon worker. I'm a current Amazon worker and I stand by unionizing the warehouses. With the union in place, there may be some better changes. With the union, Amazonians will have better options and our voices will be heard and met. The needs of the work is mad. Amazonians are really just a number. We are in jeopardy of losing our jobs if we are in the bathroom for too long. Five minutes is all we are given. We are in risk of losing our jobs if we don't make great at a steady pace throughout the time and time employed. We are quickly terminated for being a minute late if we don't have time to cover it. That's just PTO, personal time off, or UPT, unpaid time off. While we're leaving from our jobs, Time will be deducted without waiting for proper documentation to support the need, and employees will be fired. So, with the union in place, there will be more unity. Yeah. yeah. And everything she said is.